Guys, I've got an absolute banger video for you guys here right now on this channel that you're actually watching right now, and that is Facebook ads versus TikTok ads for e-com brands, for your SMA. Which one should you pick? Which service is hottest right now? Which one should you actually stick to? What sort of client should you actually go about getting? Facebook ad clients or TikTok clients? Um, which agency should you start? A Facebook ad agency or a TikTok ad agency? You guys get the drift. So first and foremost, guys, I want to prelude by saying this. I personally haven't done TikTok ads. I don't even have a TikTok account, so I'm probably not gonna be the best person to us. But we've worked with plenty of Facebook ad clients right now. And by the way, technically, Facebook ads is very, very stressful, by the way. In fact, to be fair with you guys, it doesn't even matter what service you're gonna be providing. There's obviously going to be stress, it's going to be hard, it's going to be harder than you actually think. It's gonna be a learning curve. Of course, 100% is it worth it, 100%. I just wanna make sure that I get that abundantly clear. So I'm not on this channel trying to sell you guys some sort of like dream or hype it up or anything like that. Like I know that a lot of gurus hype up like Facebook ads, Honestly guys, Facebook has probably been one of the most headache services I've ever, ever had to provide and I'm actually thinking about switching over to TikTok ads, so hint, hint, where this video is basically going. But long story short guys, yeah, Facebook has been like really, really annoying ever since the iOS, you know, 14, 15, 16 changes have actually come out and whatnot, and changed the algorithm. But, and yes, there is slightly more competition, I would say, with the Facebook ad stuff, just because there's so many people watching the same gurus over and over and over again, and all they mention is Facebook ads this, Facebook ads this, Facebook ads this, so of course there's gonna be a lot of people trying to do Facebook ads. Uh, and plus TikTok is new anyway. But long story short guys, I want, to, I want to start off with that real quick. Um, I know I'm going through this quickly, but I've got quite a few things to go through. I'll try to keep it short if you will. I know I say that in every video, but here we go. So long story short guys, if I actually, just to end this video if you will, obviously watch the end because I'm actually gonna break down a really, really cool test called the Steve Madden test if you will. Um, so make sure you watch to the end. But long story short guys, if I was to start my agency over again, right? I would actually genuinely, I genuinely think at this day, day like right, right now, I'd start with TikTok like TikTok ads over Facebook ads. And the reason for that is because it has that novelty feeling. I don't know what it is, but because TikTok's new and it's, you know, content's king, I can see where the internet is going, if you will. The whole internet is going to more like video content, short form video content. Not only that, but people are kind of like, first of all, they actually like seeing products being used. I've noticed that user generated kind of like content with Facebook ads, for example, is the best type of ad to actually run when it comes to running them for e-com brands and whatnot. Obviously, by the way, just to inter in in interlude there, if you, if you will, interrupt, myself just real quick obviously the service that you're providing is going to depend upon the actual business itself if they've got lots of user generated content if they're a kind of like a trendy like brand if you will or a unique product obviously if they're an actual product itself because i know that tiktok probably won't work that well for like real estate agents unless they're like a nationally known real estate agent or globally known real estate agent but like stuff for like local coffee coffee shops and stuff like that or like rest local restaurants like really small restaurants if you will tiktok is probably not going to be one of the best methods just for, just just for now if you will maybe when it gets a little bit bigger and more people are actually on tiktok because obviously tiktok is growing as well but long story short guys what i want you to do right okay so as i was saying there's a really cool steve madden um, Steve Madden uh, trick, if you will. So I just want to break this story down. So I'm not sure if you guys are familiar with the Steve Madden story and how he kind of like tested this, but here's how you can go about testing. Because again, there's not really a right or wrong answer whether you should go for TikTok ads or Facebook ads, but I do with my own personal opinion, would, and I'm actually starting to tell students to lean towards more TikTok ad stuff. Because again, it's, it's trendy, it's got that video aspect to it, it's short form, user-generated content works great for ads anyway. So I feel like that is probably going to be the next thing that we focus on as an agency. I'm not saying that Facebook ads is dead, by the way. I know that somebody going, going to be in the, in the um, comment section saying that Facebook ads is dead. Facebook ads is not dead. Facebook ads isn't even dying, I don't think. It's just that it's changed, if you will. You just have to be, you just need to be able to adapt. Facebook ads is, is not dying, if you will. You can still get great results with Facebook ads. To be fair though, out of all the services I've ever provided my agency, if you're wondering, I actually 110% prefer social media management over all of the advertising kind of like, um, platforms if you will. Technically, I've only tested a couple out, uh, to, to be fair, but long story short, I've always preferred social media management over everything else. And the reason for that is because there's not really much hassle, much work. Maybe I'm lazy. Um, and plus, I've also found it difficult to find media buyers all the time and you get for, like media buyers and it's really difficult to find. But yes, you can find media buyers. It's just difficult and stuff like that. And people don't really explain this, which is why you guys have got me. I'm the real deal if you want. I'm just trying to tell you guys how it really is. Finding a media buyer is difficult. Fi getting TikTok ads done or Facebook ads done will be difficult as well. The tracking's all off these days because of iOS and whatnot. So it's oh, yeah, either way, it's still gonna be difficult. But if I was starting again, I would obviously lean towards the, the TikTok stuff and ride that wave, if you will. There's a, there's a wave, if you will, that's going right now with TikTok ads. Just ride that wave for your agency. Ride it out, ride it out until it, until it gets really oversaturated and then move on to the next thing. The next thing might even be like Web 3.0 stuff.
and like NFTs and stuff like that. But long story short, guys, that's where I'm. I'm that's where my head's at, and I just want to put this on video for you guys as well. Now, how do we go about verifying this? Because again, it's not all about just guessing. Here's what we can do. I'm gonna call this a Steve Madden test. So, guys, honestly, this is probably gonna be one of the best things you hear from anybody in the SMA space. I am not even joking. I'm not. I'm gonna, let me back that up real quick. So. I'm sure you guys right or might be familiar with Steve Madden. Steve Madden, the actual shoe designer. So Steve Madden is a shoe, de shoe designer and correct me if I'm wrong, but long story short, Steve Madden actually came up with this genius idea when he was opening, I think he was like opening his first store or a couple stores or whatever it was, like actually selling shoes, like women's designer shoes, if you will. Um, so what he did was he created a whole bunch of different shoes and he only created like maybe like two pairs of them, if you will. And he put them all on like a display in like one of the stores that he had, maybe in New York or something like that. And women were walking in, right? And what happened was he basically all the shoes, every single shoe was out of stock, technically out of stock. So he only had like two or one to two pairs of the actual shoes to actually cut down on manufacturing costs, basically. Because obviously if you manufacture a hundred different shoes in multiple different sizes in a lot of stock, that's expensive. So instead of doing that, Basically, Steve Madden wanted to know which shoe was going to be the hottest. So we can actually take this real quick. So let me explain this. Steve Madden, 100 shoes, right, on a shelf. There's women that are walking in, coming to shoe, shoe shopping, if you will. They start picking out and actually asking the sales reps there, the sales people there, you know, is this shoe in stock? Every time somebody asked for a certain shoe, specific shoe, what, they would, what the uh, sales rep was taught to do was to note down what specific shoe it was, what color, and in what size. Basically, what's happening there is Steve Madden is basically finding out what Susie wants for lunch. I've got a saying, give Susie what Susie wants for lunch. So basically what he was doing is, he was basically testing to see which shoe was actually popular. So he was bringing women into the shop, if you will, and they themselves were going over to the shoes that they were most attracted to and they actually wanted to buy. And then what they would do is they pick them up, go over to the till and say, have you got these in a size six or whatever women's shoe sizes are these days? Uh, but long story short, the sales rep would then collect all of the data down if you will and then you would look and it would become just very uh, uh, abundantly clear which shoes were basically the most popular so then what steve Mann and then decided to do then was actually only go and design and create and mass produce the shoes that are actually most popular and guess what he sold out of the shoes and the reason for that is because he li basically listened to what the market actually wanted now how do we take this which by the way is an absolute g when you think about that that right there is absolutely genius and how do we actually implement that in SMA? So here's what we can do, right? So Facebook ads versus TikTok ads. If you see me looking over here, so I've got a couple, a couple of little, little notes, if you will, like I always do. But long story short, what you're gonna do, right, is you're gonna make a dummy agency with a dummy name with a dummy burner domain. You don't really need to do all of that. Well, technically, you can just create like a dummy, uh, like a like a demonstration kind of like burner domain. So for example, if your um, agency is called ABC Media, maybe call it like 123 Media, for example. Just create like a bogus agency. This kind of sounds weird at the beginning. Don't, don't worry, we're not gonna be scamming anybody or cheating anybody or lying to anybody. But long story short, you're gonna create like a demon, like almost like a dummy burner domain, right? And the dummy burner domain, what you're gonna do is you're going to take around 500 e-com brands, right? You're gonna find 500 e-com brands. By the way, if, you, if you're struggling to find e-com brands or whatever niche you're in, I highly recommend enrolling into age Rematation because I actually teach you the quickest way to actually go about getting 2.1 million leads, actually 3.5 million leads actually um, in like a, a millisecond, like quick, like literally a millisecond. And then how to go about and actually clean the list, how to go about finding the owner's name, the email address really, really quickly, called the reverse prospecting method that I've actually ha I actually created myself, if you will. So it's actually really quick. So you're gonna find 500 leads to reach out to, right? Or, or in this case, we're gonna say e-com businesses. So you're gonna go 500 e-com businesses, right? You can sub-niche, I personally don't sub-niche. I wouldn't sub-niche for this test, but it, obviously sub-niching would probably be better. It will slow you down a whole lot, but you can sub-niche if you want to. I, I sub-niching obviously would be like, 500 men's clothing brands. You can do it like that if you want to. I personally am just gonna give this, you know, to take what I'm saying here and just adapt it to whatever sub niche you're in basically. If you're in a sub niche that is, do you need a sub niche? No, not really. But long story short, uh, sub niches are technically a little bit better. Anyways, long story short, 500 e email, 500 e-com businesses, right? So you're gonna find 500 e-com businesses and you're gonna have them laid out on a sheet. Now what you're gonna do is you're going to create two different messages, two different demonstration messages. Now these messages are gonna be completely bogus but that's completely fine. We're not lying to anybody here. We're not actually gonna take a client right now, or we're actually not actually trying to get paid right now, or we're not gonna to lie to a client and try, you know, bring them onto our agency. We're not doing that. So nobody put in the comment section why you lie to clients. We are not. We are doing research here. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna craft one message, right? And you're gonna, you know, you're gonna have it like very, very short. Um, and then what you're gonna do is in the message, it's gonna say, you know, for the first 250 businesses you you actually email if you or reach out to on Instagram or wherever you're doing your outreach, stick to by the way. 
every all these 500 messages need to be on one platform because what we're going to be doing is we're going to be tr treating this like a science experiment there needs to be constants and there needs to be va a variable that we're actually testing the constant needs to be the same amount of businesses message right with the same message for 250 of them on the same platform and then it's the same platform again but we're messaging another a different set of 250 businesses but this time they're going to get a, a, a different message and here's what we're going to do to test it i'm pretty sure you can see where this is going right now so what we're going to do is we're going to make up a dummy case study again we're not lying to people here we're just literally just seeing which one's going to get the most buy if you will so what you're going to do is you're going to make up a, a case study example for example you could say you know um hey john we recently just helped uh, a brand go from an e-com brand just like yours go from 25k per month to literally hitting their first 97k month all within three all within three months via our facebook ad strategy you could say that so basically what you're saying there is you're keeping the case study the same so the number is i helped them go from x to y in z amount of time so i helped them go from 25k to 100k per month in three months keep that the same by the way and but one for, for the first 250 messages you're going to say you did that via facebook ads then the second 250 uh, messages or outreach that you do what you're going to do is you're going to say the same thing we helped a brand go from 25k to uh, 100k per month in, in three months but this time you're going to say with tiktok ads so what you're doing there is you're basically keeping everything the same. So you're sending 500 emails to people or 500 outreach, whatever sort of outreach you're doing, you're gonna send 500 outreach on the same platform. It needs to be the same platform. Because again, we're gonna be looking at response rates and certain platforms have different response rates. So if it's email, stick to 500 emails. All of these, all of these businesses, all 500 businesses are gonna get emails. But the first 250 of them are gonna say, you got this result via Facebook ads. And the other 250, you got this result via TikTok ads. Now it sounds like we're lying, but we're not. We're just testing something. And all we're gonna do, right, is we're just basically just gonna wait for responses to come in. And we're gonna see which one got the re better response rate. So the first 250, which was Facebook ads, or the second um, 250 emails, which was, you know, TikTok ads. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna basically just see which one gets you the most responses, most positive responses, of course. So that basically means you're gonna basically just send out 500 emails again, just really explain this. So you got 500 emails, 500 e-com businesses in a list, right? The first five, 250, so the first half, if you will, you got this half and you got this half. So this half, you're gonna say that you helped a brand go from um, X to Y in Z amount of time, but this time you're gonna say it was Facebook ads. You, did, you, did, you, did, you helped them do that via Facebook ads. Whereas this particular other 250, once you've sent all 250 of those, that, that email, you're then gonna send another 250 email to another set of 250 businesses, right? It's the same message though. The only thing that's different in the message is that this time, the only thing that you're changing is you're saying that you went, you helped that same you helped that same brand go from the same number in the same amount of time, but this time it was through TikTok ads. Now, guys, I don't know if you understand what I just basically broke you in on. Honestly, guys, one of the most powerful methods I've ever ever tried. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna receive which one gets the most responses, and that right there is basically asking the market what they want. This is how you do it, guys. This is literally the biggest secret in SMA right now. The biggest secret in any business, in fact. Just go and ask the market what they want. And then once you actually get the best response rate, which, you know, figure out, let's, let's say you get 10% of people reply for the Facebook ads, but this time you've got 20 people replying for the actual TikTok stuff. Well, then what you now need to do is you need to go back to the drawing board and actually recreate your agency and recreate a new offer and actually go and find an actual TikTok media buyer and go all in on TikTok. Or if you find it's the other way around, Facebook ads actually the thing that they want, stick to Facebook and go and find a media buyer on Facebook. Obviously, finding a media buyer is difficult for either or. Um, and then actually, you know, start going all in on that particular service. So basically, all you're doing there is you're seeing which service is the most popular right now. You're actually, you know, messaging the actual niche and seeing what they actually want. This is first-hand market research. And then what you're gonna do is you're actually then gonna offer that. The way how you go about doing that is now you've, you've got validation, basically, before you even started. This is a very, very good way to do this, guys. Um, so what, what's gonna happen is the end result of this is you're gonna know before you even start actually doing proper, proper live outreach, if you will, to actually try and close clients this time. Because again, we weren't trying to close clients before. Don't try to, by the way, do not close your clients from line. Don't ever try to close clients by line. I don't ever, ever recommend that. But once you've actually got the best responses from one of the one of the um, the tests, if you will, then go back and create another agency, if you will, and this time you called something different, so now you obviously that particular client that you've messaged, you now know not once uh, your TikTok ads, if you will. Now that you've got a media buyer, you can actually re-message them and see if they're actually available um, and they actually want to become your client, if you will. 
So that's why we actually create the dummy burner domain, if you will. So it's kind of like operating as a ghost, as like a second person where it's almost like a, a clone of us, if you will. So that's how you go about doing this. And that's literally how you go about finding the, what actual, the, the best services to offer and how you go about this. Honestly, guys, I don't even think you understand how powerful this genuinely is because it's literally like getting validation from the market before you actually even try to sell the market. So you actually already know what's popular straight away from, from, from the get-go. Do you know how powerful that is? Honestly, guys, I hope, you, I hope you've been... Um, enjoyed that one because honestly, honestly that's really powerful stuff but anyway guys hope you've enjoyed this again if you want to work with me either one to one or you want to enroll into a transportation the links are below both programs will actually be going up so a transportation right now is at 797 usd and it will be going up to 997 guys like, i'm not even joking the original price of the program was 997 i started off at 497 it went to 597 now it's 797 and eventually it will go to its original and intended price of 997 and it will never be cheaper than what well, right now it's 797 so it's gonna that, that's the cheapest it will ever be ever again there's not gonna be a discount on that so if you're waiting i wouldn't hold your breath i don't really do discounts if you will i don't believe in it in fact i just actually made a video in explaining why you should actually charge more and how that actually benefits everybody involved in a transaction it literally benefits you for me to charge more it actually benefits me to charge more as well because you're going to take it more seriously if you will but long story short guys that's how you go about getting um um you know figuring out whether you should do tiktok ads or facebook ads and by the way you can obviously interchange these between like seo versus Facebook ads, you can do this for everything. Like literally, you can literally go down right now, get a whole bunch of leads if you will, actually send them a personalized message by the way, and see which one actually gets the best response. One one service versus another, this is how you do it guys. Ver like put them head to head against each other. But it has to be the same case study. You know, we helped a business go from X to Y in Z amount of time, but we did that through Facebook ads versus we helped a business go from X to Y in Z amount of time, but this time it was through TikTok ads. And then you test to see which one's the actual, getting the most buy, if you will. And then once you've done that, yeah, that's when you actually start creating an agency around that service and coming up with offers for that service, if you will. And actually reaching out to people on a real serious one once you've actually got a media buyer and you've actually got expertise in place. So that's how you go about doing it, guys. That's a, it's an initial test. So guys, honestly, again, hope you've enjoyed this. Hope you can take some value out of this. Don't forget to drop a like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Again, the links are below if you wanna enroll and learn how to start SMA from scratch, because there's way more in-depth strategies than this that I've actually got inside of HMITation that will actually blow your mind. Long story short, guys, this is how you do it. Again, see you guys in the next video. Peace.